Hello guys, welcome back to the Dance Sports series. And today we're gonna talk about how we can make our samba actually look like samba. For now, please subscribe and press the notification button. So, samba. The first thing what we need to understand it's what is actually meaning bouncing. What are we bouncing in some, right? Where, where it's happening and why we're doing it. If we listen to the music of the samba, yes, music uh, gives us opportunity to hear that level change. It's kind of like a rolling action. It's not a shifting action like in cha cha. Right now, I would like to turn on the music so you can clearly hear that level change in samba. I'll try to make it louder so you can hear it. Good. So first of all, bounce as a fundamental thing of samba. We needed to transfer the music of the samba. That rolling action when we're constantly rebuilding energy. It's, it's going like a loop, loop of action. It means that we are not dropping it and it's, it's constantly one action going from one to the other. The second thing, where bounce is happening. A lot of people think that bounce is happening in our hips, but I don't think it looks like bounce, right? Bounce happening in our knees. We're bending our knee, that's how we create the bounce. Center is works, yes, center will react on it, but the main action that's supposed to happen in the bounce is actually by using your knees. And also, where the music is slower, you have more time to dance that bounce action uh, through your knee. When the music is faster, that action still will have it, but it will be a little bit more compact, a little bit more smaller. A lot of people will agree with me that uh, nowadays our samba looks like cha-cha-cha. And it's true because uh, lately dancers started dancing counts, yes? One, a two, three, a four. But counts, it's not a music. It doesn't have that level change of the music. So when you hear it properly in the music, you dance what you hear. Yes, that's why I turned music for you. So you kind of can hear that level change, yes, that loop action that we have to transfer through our body to make our dance look like actually samba. And the next thing about the bounce, what you need to know, it, it's that we're using our bounce in samba to move, to move our weight from left to left. From the bending position, the moment when I will straighten my knee, it will be action when I will redirect my body either to the side, either forward, either back. We're using bounce in samba actually to move and to transfer our weight from foot to foot. Now, bounce action in samba happening in our knees. At the moment when I'm bending my knee, yes, my center will react. So basically, my hip joints will go in, 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 in. The important thing that you need to know about, about Samba Bounce that we are spending absolutely the same time for bending our knee and straightening our knee. So to use it a little bit in a practical way, let's just learn a very, very simple steps. We're going to step forward, together, back, together and for each step we will have one count it will be like that one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight of course i hope that you already know that we're stepping from our toes to ball of the foot flat toes ball of the foot flat toes ball of the foot flat toes ball of the foot flat yes we're not stepping from the heel, it's not a bobber. So before we're gonna start trying the steps in the music, I would like a little bit more detailed to look what's happening in our body at the moment when I'm bending my knees and when I'm bouncing. At the moment when I'm bending my knees, my hips react, react, yes? And at the moment when I'm pushing out, I have like a rolling action 
from knee to hip to upper body. Vroom, tiki 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 bend, tiki vroom, tiki vroom, tiki vroom. Another important part which you have to feel it's at the moment when you're going to the bounce action. It's like you're putting your sit bone on top of your heel. Yes, I feel very, very grounded and my weight is more on the heel. And from the heel, I'm rolling my action up. That connection between our center knee and working our knee through the heel. We're straightening our knee by pressing down into the heel, pressing down into the heel, down to the heel, vroom, and rolling action in the upper body. Yes, it's almost like a weight action. Vroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try to do it in the music. So let's try it in the music. We're gonna have two times half tempo. It will be slow. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? Let's do it. Good. So the second exercise that we're going to use, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move our spine from leg to leg with the bounce action. Yes, and the same count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can keep our hands here. So kind of isolate our lower part of the body and the upper part of the body. And let's continue. Down, up, down, up, down, up down up and remember about that rolling action through the knee to the foot and back to the hips from the knee to the foot to the hips and one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight let's try the new music Now let's connect it to the very simple choreography which uh, will allow you to practice it many 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 times and make your balance action is better. I always going to say that if you want to change your dance, yes, you always have to come back to the fundamentals of the dance and practice fundamentals action and the base of the dance. So we're going to start going forward with our right leg. Yes, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the right. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight switch, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the same thing with the left foot forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, forward. Good. The very important thing that you have to remember, yes, that when you're transferring your weight from foot to foot, yes, at the moment when I'm feeling my foot coming on the floor and I'm bending my knee, I right away have action up. I'm not stacking myself to going down. Yes, we have gravity for that. What I'm going to use at the moment when I feel my foot stepping on the floor, I'm putting my heel down, bending my knee, and right away have this rolling action up. Yes, that's, uh, I like the word continuation in your body, right? Continuation, continuation. Action is never stopped. I'm never stop and cut the action. Remember about the beginning, what we said about the music? Yes, it's like a loop. So for me, it's very important to have continuation in your action and to see the clear change in the music, change of a level in the music, yes? Where are you creating that dynamic action? All right, now is the music time. And uh, let's try first the whole piece in a half tempo of the music. And then we're gonna do it full speed, full tempo. samba look like samba only coming back to fundamentals fundamentals and it's bounce why we're we bouncing in the samba because the music gives us level change right it's give us level change and we have to transfer it through our body otherwise our dance will look like judge and the second thing we're using our balance action to move and change our weight body weight from leg to leg yes it's either from side to side, either forward and back, yes? And uh, again, important thing, bounce happening in our knees, in our knees, hips are reacting, but bounce is not happening in our center. It happens in our knees and our center reacts. And at the moment, when we're stepping uh, one more time, that uh, timing, of the bounce is the same that we're going down, the same up, yes? The same amount of time that we're bending our knee, the same amount of the time we're straightening our knee, right? And in the fast music, don't stop. At the moment when you're landing on a foot, right away, create continuation to go up. Okay, great. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please press like. If you have any question, 
write it down in the comments. I will do my best to answer to you. Thank you very much again. See you later.